during your design process, you may be faced with the situation where you need in a specific area of your board other rule values as for the rest of your board. In this situation, a room can be a solution. A room can be used as an object that defines the scope of another rule. Let's consider an example. Let the general technological standards, the rules, for this board be 0.2 mm for the gap and for the width of the conductor. The wires have a diameter of 0.8 mm with a hole size of 0.4 mm, which is quite enough for this board layout. However, on the board there is a processor in a BGA package, the gap between the pads of which is only 0.5 mm. Our rule settings will not allow us to place tracks between adjacent pads and place the transition holes for the conductors on the inner layers. To solve the problem, we will place a room. I will do it through the design rule window. Other ways to create rooms are described in detail in the corresponding videos like creating rooms in the PCB. In the room definition section, let's create a new rule. I will name the rule CPU and specify a room area that includes the CPU footprint with some reserve. As a query, I will leave the keyword false. This indicates that this room does not control the location of any components. Now I can use this room as an area to assign local routing rules. To do this, I will create a number of new rules in the clearance with and wire sections. Don't forget to specify meaningful names for your rules. It makes the work much easier. For routing the processor signals, a clearance of 0.15 mm is enough. To extend this value only to the region occupied by the room, I will select Custom Query and the Within Room command, with CPU as an argument. This is our room name. I will do the same for the rules of minimum width and wire. The minimum width is set to 0.15 mm. The Within Room command will set all the objects lying completely inside the room as the rule scope. For the whole dimensions of the wire, I will choose 0.2 with a pad diameter of 0.5 mm. New rules have higher priority, which means that the size of the topology inside the room will be determined by them. Now that the processor is within the scope of the appropriate rules, we can route the signals on the outer layers as well as place wires for the outputs on the connections on the inner layers. In the interactive routing settings, the preferences, you can specify what size for tracks and wires the tracer will use. In my case, the minimum values are selected, according to the rules. Following these settings, the interactive router makes a breakpoint in the lines and changes the track width and size of the wire. Depending on the situation, you can also use two other query expressions for the rules. Touches room and in region. Details about the query expressions can be found in the online documentation.